I'm gonna show you our prone cervical retraction exercise. Uh, first, you wanna build some strength with a chin tuck and tall, and then this guy, and then honestly, I don't train this guy long-term. I usually just integrate it with uh, prone T's, prone Y's, or reverse flies, bent over rows, any bent over strategies, as well as my upright overhead lifts. Uh, so with this, you're gonna lay on your tummy, and the key is that you don't cheat through your low back. So uh, once you get down there, I'm gonna show you to kind of tuck your pelvis, and then we're going from there. So forehead flat on the ground, tuck that pelvis, squeezing my glutes, and then I'm tucking my chin down and then lifting it up off the floor. Back down and then repeat, tuck, lift, and sustaining. Um, I'm really trying to not cheat through, uh, through here. I'm trying to also not cheat through my middle back. I'm trying to keep this in my neck as much as possible. Um, and I'm, I, you could lift it as high as you can, but make sure you're holding your chin tuck and you're not just extending your neck. Uh, and uh, with that guys, you can dose it a, a couple different ways. You can do three sets of 10 with like a three to five second hold, or you could just work to sustain a 30 uh, to 60 second hold even, uh, just like you would a plank. Uh, and then integrating a little bit of that control with a plank and all those other face down exercises is great. Um, and that's really how we end up applying this long term, as opposed to always repping this, but this is a good starting point. So I uh, hope you can build that stronger neck with that uh, cervical retraction strength.